Hey everyone, this is Ted Check, Recovery Reporter. Here is the moment we've all been waiting for. I know I have, and uh, I think some of you out there have been waiting as well. So, drum roll. Okay, we are going to do the, uh, the book cover launch. Boom, there it is. There it is. Saving the Beast, a Recovering Reporter Reflects on America's Broken Media and How to Fix It. So, the, uh, the concept behind this, uh, this cover. Um, the Beast... Here is the beast, right? And, and uh, for those who don't know, who are you know, you've never been involved in journalism or you, you've never heard this phrase, the the phrase was "feed the beast." You got to feed the beast. This was a phrase that was used and thrown around in, in journalism circles and newsrooms everywhere. Feed the beast. It probably still is. Feed the beast. So what is what is the beast? Well, there was never a clear cut definition of what the beast was exactly. Was it that? Was it the media entity that you were working for? Was it your editors? Your editors were the beast? Was it the, the readership or the viewership? To me, to me, it means the, uh, the craft of journalism and the industry of journalism. Feeding the beast. So providing content, creating content, providing content. That's the feeding. So the beast needs to be fed. It needs nourishment. And that's uh, in the form of writing or, or creating videos, uh, what have you, media of one type or another. The beast needs the, the nourishment to survive. But now, now we are at a point where we need to save the beast. We need to save the craft of journalism. We need to save the industry of journalism, essentially from itself. It's basically eating itself from within by uh, the, the way that... Uh, the disingenuous and faulty ways that they are teaching um, young reporters in colleges and universities uh, by by what is uh, by the various machinations that uh, the mainstream media uh, has uh, just you know fallen into. They're they're being controlled by outside influences. Uh, they're trying to push narratives. They're essentially trying to tell the American public how to think, what to think, and how to think. The American public knows how to do those things on their own. They don't need to be told. and be, But because they are, they feel insulted. And so their reaction is, you know what? You're not going to get my time. You're not going to get my money. And so that's why we have mainstream media that are uh, media outlets that are hemorrhaging viewers and readership and therefore uh, losing money. And then they have to lay off people and, and shutter uh, brick and mortar places and and uh, closed down departments and and things like that. So it just becomes a vicious circle. So the beast needs saving. So in this book, first I say uh, I, I talk about in the first section how do we get to this point. So I trace some of the history of the transgressions of the uh, of the American media, the mainstream media, and then uh, in the second section, how did those transgressions then manifest? Uh, what, what, were the, what was the result of those transgressions? Uh, I talk about layoffs. I talk about journalism being the most regretted major of all college, uh, university majors. Uh, journalism is the number one, number one regretted major. Um, so I talk about all that. And then in the third section, I give my prescription, Dr. Ted's prescription, if the mainstream media really, really wanted to, uh, to turn things around, because now we're seeing the uh, one of the other ways that, that uh, uh, the transgressions have manifested is that we're seeing the rise of independent and, and citizen journalists and, and journalism, and that's where a lot of the American public has gravitated to. So if the, if the mainstream media really wanted to turn things around, what they need to do is they need to look at themselves in the mirror, and they say, wait a minute, they need to say, I'm the problem. I'm the problem. I caused this. And only I can get myself out of it. So I give a number of recommendations, suggestions as to if, if I was the guy that was uh, was calling the shots, what I would do, how I would go about repairing that um, that erosion, that chasm between the mainstream media and the the American public. Now some would argue that that it, it can't be repaired, that it's too far gone. I, I take a different approach. Uh, I'm kind of you know, a bit of both, um, as, as someone once said, a bit of both. Uh, it could go one way where they do, uh, where they're able to turn things around, or it could go another way and we're in a paradigm shift 
and uh, we're just going to continue to see the rise of independent and uh, and citizen journalism to a point that it actually competes with the mainstream media. And actually, I think it already does. Um, uh, some 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 uh, some outlets, some independent journalists, you know, like take Tucker Carlson, for example. So that's uh, that's the book Saving the Beast, and uh, I'm planning at this point to release it in early September. That's uh, it's going to be available everywhere: Amazon, uh, Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, everywhere. So, uh, but I'll keep you, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I'll do regular updates. But this is a big one here: the the book cover reveal. Um, a while back, I did the the title reveal. Now we have the book cover. This is this is what uh, what it's going to look like. I'm real excited about it, and I'm very thankful, very grateful for all the people that have supported me so far. And all of you that will in the future, really appreciate it. Couldn't have done this without you. Um, it's been almost two years in the making, so I'm very thankful. And um, so, yeah, as always, let me know your thoughts, and I will talk to you later.